Republicans are getting extra sleazy, and they're attempting a new legislative maneuver to block Democrats. So the Hill explains here, After consolidating power in Washington, D.C. and state capitals under President-elect Donald Trump, Republicans are moving to prevent large cities dominated by Democrats from enacting sweeping liberal agendas. Republican state legislatures are planning so-called preemption laws, which prevent cities and countries from passing new measures governing everything from taxes to environmental regulations and social issues. Okay, I've never heard of this before, and this is something that basically would break a democracy. So the Republicans want to, you know, pass laws that say, oh, by the way, anything that the liberals ever do, uh, we are henceforth declaring that it is null and void and it, those laws cannot go into effect. What the f what are we talking about here? That, that, okay, so then why not just uh, stop pretending that this is a democracy uh, and just say, yeah, no, we, we're authoritarians and we don't believe in rule of law. We believe in ruling with an iron fist. Whatever we say goes. When we pass laws, you can't block them. But when you pass laws, we can preemptively block them. And so if you want to come in there and do anything good for the people, tough cookies. No, seriously, stop and think about this, because it is, we've seen across the country, either through direct ballot initiative or through Democrats at, at the state level, they've passed a whole bunch of minimum wage increases, for example. What these Republicans want to do is pass laws that say, oh, you can never raise the minimum wage. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Guys, it's out in the open. It's out, They're called preemption laws. That's what they want to do. So, okay. And this is the downside of the Democrats, because if the Democrats had tried anything similar to this, do you have any idea? The Republicans would scream bloody murder. They'd go on every fucking talk show in the country and they just lambast them until the Democrats are forced to fold. Are the Democrats going to do that here? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Because they're probably not. They're just going, hmm, hmm. oh, look at that. They're going to try to block any good thing we might ever try to do, ever. And they even say, wide-ranging. So it's not just, I give the minimum wage example, which is bad enough. They say taxes, environmental regulations, social issues. So another one where they're going to use it is there are now... Many states that have gone in the direction of, okay, trans people, by law, you get to use whatever bathroom you want. Well, the Republicans are going to pass laws that say, oh, how about no, and how about we force you to go into the bathroom of your biological birth, and, you know, we fine you or we jail you if you don't do that. So, again, they want to block any progressive ideas of, who cares? You go in whatever bathroom you want to go in, and that's the end of the conversation. Uh, environmental regulations. We don't want, you know, Corporation X polluting our, our river or our pond or our lake or whatever it is by dumping chemicals. That's nice. We're going to block you from ever passing a regulation that says they can't pollute. This is, if it honestly feels like a coup. This is what happened in North Carolina recently, too. Now, thankfully, the courts have gotten involved in that, and they were like, e Republicans... You can't do it because there was a Republican governor and Republic, a Republican legislature and the Democrat eked out the election and won, even with all the voter suppression, which is crazy in North Carolina. So what the Republicans did is they said, nice, before the Democrat takes power, let's just strip all of his, uh, his ability to make any changes away. So, for example, there used to be a whole bunch of picks that the governor made in North Carolina. And the Republican legislature was like, that's nice. Now you make almost no picks. So when it was a Republican, hey, you pick, every, you pick anybody you want. I think there were like 1,500 picks that the governor could make when it was a Republican governor. Then when the Democrat took power, they're like, oh, we can't have this guy picking people. Anyway, we just uh, changed the rules, and now you only get to pick 300 people. 1,500 to 300. Unbelievable. So this, this is the stuff that they do. Just, uh, we'll strip all your power when you're in control, scream about small government so the government can't do anything. And then when we get in control, oh my god, big government all day long, and we pick everything, and, 
you know, if you stand in the way, we're going to scream bloody murder. So, guys, this is fucking crazy. I mean, so not only do they want to be assholes for their time in office now and screw over working people, screw over regular people. Now they want to do it and have you feel the effects even when they're out of office. They want to maintain control even when they're not in power. So you just pass laws that preemptively uh, block uh, any liberal ideas. This is unbelievable, man. And also, let's note the hypocrisy. Small government guys, these are. They believe in government that's so small that they want to decide and handicap anything the opposition party might do. And they also say, hey, the states are the laboratories of democracy. And so oftentimes you'll have at the federal level, Republicans will say, look, we don't want to do like a universal health care system because big government is bad and we don't believe in that. Uh, but at the state level, if they want to play with that idea, by all means, go ahead. You know, hey, the states are the laboratories of democracy. You want to try more liberal ideas in New York than we want in Mississippi? Hey, that's the way it works. It's federalism. We believe in that. Well, now apparently that's not the case. They're saying, no, 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 even at the state level, handicap it, handicap it, handicap it, and only force our ideas on people, even when the American people vote for the other party, and when you look at the polling data, believe in the ideas of the other party more. <sighs> you know, the neoliberals are horrific, and they're not, they don't believe in liberal ideas and progressive ideas. They don't. They, they're they corporatists. They're also sellouts to Wall Street. They're better on social issues, but that's damning with faint praise. But when you look at the Republicans, you go, oh, they're, like, obviously way worse. And stories like this remind you of that. And it's a sad state of affairs in America when your options are the party that's going to give you no change the Democrats, <laughs> and the party that's going to actively move you in the wrong direction, the Republicans.